So the next step is we want to add this little video onto YouTube. So I'm just going to bring up my YouTube channel, at least for the library. Um, so to show you how I actually get to this, I'm just going to sign out and log back in. And you can see from the ground up how I actually went about doing this. So this is just basic YouTube. Just go to YouTube.com. Then you can click sign in right there. When you click sign in, um, if you don't have like a Gmail account or anything, make sure you create one. We have our U Lethbridge library uh, account. And then I will put in our password. You do not need to know what that is. All right, so once I log on, I just need to choose whichever account that I'm actually gonna upload this to. Um, so this is our YouTube channel. And then I'm actually on our YouTube channel. So the next step you want to do to actually upload a video so you can add it to Moodle or wherever you want it to go is just go to this creative video and more section. When we click on that, you can click upload video. And then you'll notice there's this little drop box that just says drag and drop a file you want. So you can do as it says, so you can just click and drag it onto here. Or if you don't want to minimize your window, you can click select file right there. And just click desktop and then on your video. Or don't click desktop if that's not where your video is. That's where mine is, so that's why I'm clicking on that. So I'm gonna open up. And then what YouTube is gonna do is it's going to start uploading and you'll see that right here. Um, so you can change your title right here. You can put in a description if you want. Um, you can choose which thumbnail will display when the video is actually started. Um, you can do like the title of your PowerPoint. That would probably be the best. Um, if you would like to add a custom one, you can click on that and upload a custom uh, thumbnail. Um, and then you can add it to playlists if you want. Uh, what else is on here? Uh, you do need to do this now. So is this video made for kids? Most likely it's not. Um, that pretty much just means that it's strictly, like it has content that um, would be agreeable for kids. So if you have a presentation that's talking about um, like accounting or something like that, like it would be fine for a child to watch it, but it's not really content made for kids. Um, then if there's an age restriction, um, and then you might want to do, um, click on this uh, to add tags if you want other people to actually watch this. Since it's for your class, probably don't worry about it. Um, and then for caption certification, you could click, um, this content has never aired on television in the US. Um, you can change this if you want. Uh, you can use a standard YouTube license or Creative Commons. Um, at the library, we generally use Creative Commons. Um, whether you will allow embedding, which I suggest you do, because you'll probably want to embed it onto YouTube. And then just what category it's from. So once you have all of that set up, now you can see the different um, uh, thumbnails I can choose from. I want this one to be my thumbnail. Uh, next we can click something like uh, video elements. Um, you can add end screens. Probably don't worry too much about that because it will just make your life a little harder right now. And then we can set visibility. Um, since I want to share this with students, but I might not want just the general public to see it, I can click it as unlisted. So that way nobody can see it on my YouTube page, but I can still share the link with people. Don't click private because that means you won't be able to share that link. And then you just hit save. And then your video is published. At this point, you can use this link to share the video. So you can just click on that. And then as you can see, I could paste that link right there. And then this will go to my video that I just created. 
Or, um, depending on what Moodle asks of you, you can use this link or you can use this little embedded option. And this will just give you an iframe that you can put on any type of website. Um, so that's roughly how you can export a video from PowerPoint and add it to YouTube. Thank you very much for watching the video. And if you have any questions, you already know where to go. Uh, thank you very much again for watching, and I hope this helped.